out and said everything from Vixen up to the party. So I'll go to my uh, setup display. Wait for it to load. Takes a while on this computer for some reason. And Vixen's just crashed. Oh, there it is. Alright, so here are all my controllers already all set up. They're all set up. I actually already have IP addresses attached because I've done my live testing for Vixen as well. All set up, everything's patched. That's okay. Open the sequence that I want to put on the Pi. Once again, wait for it to load. Here it is, and it was just a little something for me to get some photos of last night. So we're going to go to export this one it's going to be a falcon player sequence and these numbers um, are the most important thing this is what you're going to need if you can screenshot screenshot them make them bigger or just write them all down but you've got to remember these exact numbers Falcon player sequence and we're going to press start. Now I'm going to put this on my desktop so it's easier to find now. Photo op 2. Press save and I'm just going to wait for this to go. Remember, these numbers are the most important thing that you will need for the next part of the setup. Let's wait for this to go. Close that, minimize Vixen, and here it is here, the network and the FSEQ file. That's the only file we will need, that one can be deleted straight away. Right, so we go to the Pi, here is my comment currently running now, and we're going to go to the network page. Now, I've got mine, here's the wireless, and I've got me what the wired ethernet port as well set the DHCP DHCP everything set up is automatic because the easiest way and then what I have done is so my Pi gets the same IP every time so I can always log into it I went onto my router page and give it a permanent IP address so all I did was just highlight the MAC address and down to the reservation page add new and give it the IP address I wanted so I can always get on that one now. Right, we're going to go back to the Falcon player. And we're going to go on to the channel output page. So we're going to have the amount of universes we need. Now, I tried splitting universe number one because I don't need all the channels. So I thought if I do one, you know, split them two lines there in between the two channels, they would uh, work, but it didn't work for me, so I had to go two se completely separate uh, IP addresses and universe numbers. I was hoping to split the universe between the two, but it wouldn't work. So I've got my nine universes set up. I've enabled the E1.31 output interface, straight the ether, because obviously you don't want it through the wireless. And this is where the star channel or Vixen comes into because they don't care how what universe it is on Vixen they just want to know what your star channel is so I know my first 32 channels are hardwired so my first box 
is my mega tree. So there's the IP address in Unicast. 174 channels on Universe One, starting at FPP channel 33. Now you notice there's a big jump here to 8 or 7, which is the next one because in the middle is the matrix, which is again hardwired to the to the pi. What I'm going to set all this up. So all these will match what I have on this bit here. So there, my mega tree is starter channel 33 and is 174 channels long. Now go back to the shooting stars. Starter channel 807. Let's go and have a look at that. Starter channel 807 and is 8 channels long. Now put that on universe 2. I have then set all the um, Pixify boards up to universe 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. As you can see, this one here, universe 3 and 4, is split between these two universes, all going to the same board. Just because there is more than 170 pixels on that string. So that's got that one on there. That's how you set up the wireless side. So you get the uh, you're all working with your router, router, and then obviously you come to your file manager, select the files that you want. So I'm going to go desktop, photo op number two, copy, hold it up there, and there we go, and there it is right there right beside the one I did last night. Now, if you have any more questions, just give us a message and I'll uh, see what I can do.